Hey, what is going on pros and press? It's Mr. Lyman HD here and welcome to another drinks review. Today we are re reviewing Per Coal Iced Coffee and this one is going to be on the flat white. So before I start, I've just reviewed Per Coal's Iced Coffee Protein Latte. The link to this will be in the description below. So anyways, I got this one for 79p out of pounds treasure and yes, it's still, still in date before you ask. It goes out of date on the 24th of the 2nd, 2020 and I'm reviewing this in December 2019. So I give you guys a 4360 of the, so it's got this kind of weird papery kind of cardboard package. So I'm just going to call it can uh, just to make it all carton or something just to make it e easier to say. But yeah, it's got that kind of weird uh, kind of waxy cardboardy feel. It feels nice. I mean, I don't think it was recyclable, but it says it is recyclable as paper. So fair enough, but it's got this just got a nice feel to it. So I give you guys a full 360 of the bottle. So we have mostly brown at the top and then it kind of goes down to lighter brown towards the bottom. Then I have white all around the bottom, but obviously the flat white, whereas the latte one I reviewed was purple at the top and white at the bottom. We have the ingredients and stuff on the bag with some little description here, which we'll read in a second. On the bottom, we have nothing. And on the top, we have a little pull tab where we drink the drink. I also like this lovely sh uh, shiny gold writing. You guys know I'm a sucker for shiny gold. I. I mean, it just looks so cool. Look at that. Nice shiny gold. So, uh, like I said, iced coffee with smooth organic milk, flat white, 100% organic Arabica beans. Looking on the back, shake well and enjoy cold. Oh yes, you guys know I like to shake my drinks and make them explode over me. More coffee, less milk. Arabica beans, naturally organic. Recyclable Carto can. I said that on the other one when I reviewed it. I've not heard of a Carto can before. I guess that's this weird kind of papery thing. It's almost like the Tetra Pak kind of weird cardboard things you get. This one does have sugar as well, like the other one does. This one contains 8.8 .8 grams per 100 mil, and this is a 235 milliliter uh, carton. So yeah, it's a little bit less than your average 250 uh, energy drink can, but of course this isn't any drink, just for comparison. So it contains about 20 grams of sugar, which, yeah, I mean, it's quite sweet for coffee, but it's a, it's a smaller smaller case, so, you know, whatever. Uh, looking on the other side, so there's a little bit of a story here. It says, we're a small bunch of coffee lovers who are passionate about bringing you the best beans. That's why we've created this irresistible fair trade and organic iced flat white. Coffee drink with milk, ultra heat cheated, unopened and uncooled, best before date, see base. And we have just some other bits and bobs, organic meal, this, that, blah, blah. Uh, I forgot to mention this on the other one as well, but there's no caffeine content, so we don't know how much caffeine this actually has in it. The organic logo shows that the coffee, milk, and sugar in this product are farmed without artificial fertilizers and chemical pesticides. Um, apart from that, nothing else really interesting on the can or the bottle. Um, yeah, anyway, so let's give it a super good shake. This one sounds more watery, I'm not going to lie. This sounds way watery than the uh, latte I just reviewed. The latte one I just reviewed was very thick. Um, so I went out this one. It's for comparison. Uh, it's nice and cold. I have got a cup and we'll get to it in a second. It's a good shake because it was all stuck to the side of the other carton. So, and it didn't explode over me. So hopefully this one doesn't as well. All right, that should be enough. Like I said, we have the uh, open here shake wall tab at the top. So I'm just gonna peel it off and find out. There we go. Right. Oh, that is definitely waterier than the latte. Oh my word. That is definitely more waterier. That's all gone on. It's gone on over the side. There we go. Right, so I showed you on the other, it's the same, same as this one, but there's the top of the uh, can, so it's got a fairly, fairly big hole to drink it, drink it out of, as you can see. So this one, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a darker brown than the than the other one. Not as many bubbles on the top, and I did check it out for quite a bit. But I guess these kind of flat white isn't designed to be as, as I guess as creamy and as latte -y as a latte. And that sounds stupid, but it's, it doesn't seem to have many bubbles. But it's still a few bubbles on the top there. You know, not not going to complain. But yeah, it's definitely a darker brown. Definitely not as thick though. And again, I know it's not a latte. It's not designed to be you know as thick as the others, but yeah, as you can see, it's definitely a lot, lot fit, thinner and uh, waterier. So let's give it a smell now. 
Oh yeah. It still smells of coffee. But doesn't smell... It smells stronger. And that's why I think... This one is designed to be more on the stronger... It's probably going to taste stronger as well because... It's, it's designed to be like that rather than, you know, a creamy kind of latte drink. So... Yeah, definitely a stronger cell. Not too much stronger, but just a bit stronger. But it's got a nice smell though. It smells of nice coffee roasted beans. So it's got a nice smell and all that. Yeah. So anyways, guys, let's uh, try some. Oh, yeah. Definitely a lot. Yeah, definitely a lot stronger. Mm. Still nice though. But that is literally what I was describing compared to the other the other protein latte per cold drink this one is literally i mean these are both really nice drinks these per cold drinks i'm surprised they ended up in pound stretch so they're actually really nice drinks so far and i find from what i've just taken there i find that one is more the same as like more of the standard supermarket cold coffees so they're generally more runnier like more watery as I said, the comparison, because you look at the cold coffee, and I'm trying to describe this best to you guys, so bear, bear with me, but you go into, again, and I said this with the other drink, you go into the supermarket, and you've got the supermarket-owned coffee brands, and then you've got the branded stuff off to one side, and then you've got all the other kind of bits and bobs. The supermarket ones are actually fairly nice, what they are, and they're you know, fairly cheap, but they're generally a bit waterier. Now, this one is, I'd say it's almost like the latte but without the extra thickness and without the cream it's more of a coffee flavor rather than trying to be a milkshake a milkshake for example because i can get coffee flavored milkshake and all that which yeah that's great but you know we've got to remember this is actually you know coffee real coffee beans in it with i assume it has caffeine in it because it's got coffee coffee beans in it but yeah it's actually just really nice guys it's, it's just a really nice cold coffee and again if you put it, if you put me in the blind taste test with it against the other supermarket cold coffees and even some of the branded ones, which again are a bit watery and thin down, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference, and you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Like a cold coffee is a cold coffee; they all generally taste alright. I mean, these taste really nice because I've just I really like the roasted flavour they've got in this. So let's talk about more about the flavour then. So even though it's got that amount of sugar in it, it doesn't. It's not sweet at all, and I know a lot of cold coffees are full of sugar like they're really full of sugar a lot of these cold coffees to make them you know sweet and more you know these cold toffee drinks and all this stuff but as this is just kind of pure coffee they still pack them full of sugar now some people some people may argue well yeah it's not as a strong flavor because it's got the sugar in it to counteract it being really strong coffee flavor but i don't, I don't believe that guys because this is a really nice relaxed roasted coffee bean flavor like you know, it's not like a really strong, hard hit. In it. How do I explain it? If you drink like this pure black coffee, like, you know, we just buy pure black coffee and you drink that, that's like really strong and horrible. Like, it's nothing like that. It's just a nice roasted coffee bean flavour. And, you know, you get that throughout the whole drink. You know, there's no, there's no sweetness to it. There's no weird flavours to it or anything like that. It's just a nice cold coffee drink. And that's it. Yeah, it's nice, guys. Really nice. And again, as I said, it's just got a really nice roasted flavour. And the aftertaste, well, you know, it just leaves that nice coffee flavour on your tongue after that. So, so far, both of these have been really got nice, guys. Impressed with both of these Percol drinks. Like I said, this one will be in the description and vice versa. Um, if you see these again, pick them up and give them a try if you like cold coffee because, you know, you will like them. We're on p it's, just, it's pretty good because you can pay a pound for generally one of these out of a supermarket or, or the equivalent brand. Or even the branded ones can go up for two pounds upwards, which is which is a lot of money. And they're really full of sugar. But now, really impressed with these guys. Really nice. So, yeah, they get a thumbs up for me. So, as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you all later.